So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And as you all have, of course, heard by now, the Baltimore Ravens have acquired linebacker Roquan Smith uh, from the Bears. And just to get straight into it, let's look at uh, what was given up in order to acquire uh, one Roquan Smith. All pro linebacker. I remember watching the, uh, the Patriots game, the Patriots-Bears game the other night, and I was thinking to myself, man, this dude, he putting on a show for whoever his next team is going to be. I did not think it was going to be the Baltimore Ravens. Um, I know we had talked about it on questions from subscribers and whatnot. A lot of y'all had mentioned the possibility of a Roquan Smith being traded, especially him being in the last year of his deal. Especially even before the season started, he asked to be traded. So this was something that he was on from a long time ago. And then I guess the Bears were like, ah, we trying to hold on hope, but uh, you know what? No, whatever. Let's go ahead and trade him. Um... But this means so many different things for the Baltimore Ravens, and we'll get into that shortly. Um, but this move, again, it was a surprise to me. But then at the same time, it wasn't a surprise because it is a defensive move. I was hoping that the Ravens would do a little something different. And, and hey, the trade deadline ain't here yet. So it's still a possibility, but again, my expectations were not that they would do anything significant on offense. Uh, but on defense, it was obviously a lot more likely based off of how the Ravens do things. But let's get into this trade because this, what they had to give up, what they had, what they got, it, it is actually a pretty good trade. Uh, because the Ravens, they're giving up a second round pick, a fifth round pick, and A.J. Klein. They literally, like this, and, and they're receiving Roquan Smith. That's a great trade, straight up. That's a great trade um, because you're getting one of the best linebackers in the league. Um, and, and the thing is that Ravens defense had been getting better and better and better. They did. They do be having some hiccups here and there. Now. Don't get me wrong. They be having some hiccups. But overall, they have been getting better and better and better uh, over time. Um, but this makes them even better. And now, even if he doesn't play against the Saints, I mean, they got a long time before they play the Saints. So I expect him to play against the Saints. But even if he doesn't play against the Saints, you got to feel like, okay, yeah, he, he'll have a long time to prepare and get acclimated. But I would expect him to play against New Orleans. Um, but anyway, the fact that they literally like signed A.J. Klein like a couple of weeks ago. They signed this dude a couple of weeks ago. And now uh, they, they just put him on the active roster uh, for that game. I know he played well against the Bucks. He made a couple of plays. And then, boom, um, not even a week later, he's being shipped to Chicago. Not even a week later. And it, he, he, he was like, it's like, man, that, that, like, that's a move right there. I, I appreciate that move. And I respect that move uh, from Eric DaCosta. So a second-round pick, a fifth-round pick, and A.J. Klein, and you get Roquan Smith. Now... With the salary, because Roquan Smith, I believe, is on his fifth year option. So don't Ravens got to pay a lot of money to Roquan Smith? No, they don't, because the Bears are paying 4.833 mil. So 4.83 mil of Roquan Smith's salary, and the Ravens are paying 575,000. So Ravens are off the hook for this year. They're off the hook with the salary. They're paying 575,000 for Roquan Smith. But now let, let, let's take it a step further because you didn't give up a second and a fifth round pick just to have him for this year. Or, or did you? No, they, they, they didn't. He's a linebacker. No, they didn't. Um, we brought it up in questions from subscribers when this question was asked before. Um, and we got to bring it up now. This is this is the end of Patrick Queen with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, then they're, they're not going to pick up his fifth year option. And, and the thing with that, too. They things were already not trending good in Patrick Queen's direction for them to even pick up his fifth year option before they traded for Roquan Smith. Now, me, I, I would love it if they could keep both. I know they won't keep both, and I don't expect them to keep both. I know Patrick Queen does. He, he knows. He's he knows the business. He done seen the business. He ain't really had to experience the business firsthand, firsthand, but he he knows it. So he he's done seen around the league. I'm sure he gets it. But um. You got to believe that this this is going to be the end of uh, Patrick Queen with the Baltimore Ravens. I I, I wouldn't. Ex well, you know what? He could actually get traded before the deadline. But I hope they don't trade him. I hope that they keep both um, just so you can have that much more flexibility. Roquan Smith, he could be your Mike. Patrick Queen, he, he could be your blitzing linebacker, man. And, and and now and and you getting ready to get Bowser back a Jabo he lived more further down the road but you getting ready to get Bowser back to a Dafe away could go back to his natural position still got Justin Houston and whatnot um so you you're gonna have some more flexibility 
with your defense. Uh, but again, this is the end of the road for Patrick Queen. So I would expect, if he if he doesn't get traded before the trade deadline, I hope they don't. Please keep Patrick Queen Ravens. But if he doesn't get traded before the trade deadline, then th- this off season for sure. This off season for sure, it's it's gonna happen. Because I would expect them to. De- well, actually. They won't even have to decline his fifth year option. They can trade him before, like they did with Hollywood. They can trade him before the deadline to pick up the fifth year option. So his new team, they can decide whether they want to pick up the fifth year option. So they ain't even got to worry about that part. But anyway, like, yeah, Patrick Queen's days are numbered. And again, it's, it's not, that's not a shot at Patrick Queen. That's just the business. And we, again, we talked about this. If, if Roquan Smith was going to be on the Ravens, that was going to be it for PQ. Shout out to PQ, though. It, we'll see... Uh, how he handles it, because that could be tough, man. That's tough. Like they just they just brought in somebody to do your job. That's tough. It, it, like put yourself in his shoes, and I'm sure that's happened to some of us before, where we be working at a job and they hire somebody in your same position. You're like, oh, y'all really did. Oh man. So it's that's that's tough. Um, but anyway, contract, baby. Who is going to get paid? How is he going to get paid? This ain't no rental. This is not a rental. So Raven's going to have to <coughs> cough up some bread. They're going to have to cough up some bread because Roquan Smith is going to want a new deal. Uh, Ravens, I'm, I'm sure they'll, they'll, they'll get it done. Um, but how will this affect other positions? How will this affect other players? Because the Ravens also got somebody else who's trying to get a deal done. But they haven't been able to quite come to an agreement yet. So... This offseason, oh yeah, EDC is going to be busy. Busier than ever. He's always busy. But this offseason, he is going to be busier than ever. Because you can't give out two franchise tags, can you? No. Mm-mm. Got some decisions to make, my friend. Uh, yeah, y'all know how I feel about Lamar already. How I feel like the Ravens are going to operate. But we'll see. We'll see. This move does not change how I feel about that. Especially with them adding somebody of significance on defense. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, Roquan Smith, welcome to the Baltimore Ravens. A uh, good addition. Um, will definitely help make them even better. Um, but let's let's see, man. It's 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 gonna be fun watching that defense, especially fun watching that defense now. Um, but I was hoping they would get somebody who would make it a little more fun uh, to watch the offense. But it's still time. It's still time, and it's still options and whatnot. Um, but we'll see. This uh, again, a little bit of a shocker. That they got him, but at the same time, just thinking about the Ravens' philosophy, what they love to invest in the most, that being defense, it's not such a shocker anymore. Um, but he'll bring a lot of qu- high-quality play to the Baltimore Ravens. Um, solid, ad- re- Better than solid addition, good addition. Um, and let's see how it goes. It, it, again, good trade from EDC, what he gave up in order to acquire him. Now, let's go to work. Love y'all, team. Keep it clean. We out.